So, uh, laundry. I was gonna, I was gonna say like ten bucks. They don't have any clue where we are. Well, they do now. We're doing laundry. <laughs> Is that what we're doing? Uh, we haven't had a washing machine since like six months since we moved into our new place. That's something we have to do. It's laundry. Everybody does it. Most people. Most people do. I bet rich people don't do it. They probably have people that do it for them. Or they just buy new clothes. And uh, Amazonians clothes. don't do it, do them. Uh, typically. I don't know. I've never, not now, nor have I ever been an Amazonian. Well, that would require being in the Amazon. I've never been there. But anywho, this is not the Amazon. This is a, la a laundromat in an undisclosed location in Pennsylvania. And that was a boat anchor that just went by. Uh, and we have another thing donated by the person who's given way too much to the channel. Yeah. Uh, we haven't been able to get through, like, half of the stuff. <laughs> and then we keep getting more. And we still have more. Uh, from other people that we need to get to. So we're gonna you, have to record like 10 in a day just to make a dent. So yeah, if you've donated to the channel, we're sorry if we haven't gotten to your item yet because holy shit. Yeah. Um, and you it's know a lot. by that way, let I want to extend a thank you. It's like I, I know our fan base is relatively small, but the fact that we've had this much support um, from you guys is very encouraging. It is. Um, it is cool. We are a very small channel with what seems like a very devoted set of followers. Uh, not to be confused with a cult, uh, but thank you. Uh, it, mm. it, it makes doing this even more worth it than I think it already is just to have a little fun uh, but we have to move on to the thing we're doing the thing we're doing uh, this has been very hard to find it was so hard to find that it sold out once and then the person who gave this to us uh, the next time it came in made sure to buy it because he wasn't sure if we would be able to get our hands on it and that is uh, Dr. Dr. PP Strawberries and Cream. Berry and Cream. Berries and Cream. So we decided to do this here just because we wanted something to do while you know, clothing dries. Laundry. Um, doesn't say anything about caffeine or how much caffeine 68 milligrams for 20 oh yeah there it is wow right as he starts saying so you want to give it I've, the old I've sniff been, test i've been seeing commercials for it everywhere i'm not sure i'm gonna like it because i'm not huge on strawberry but it smells okay yeah, it does ready three Two. Uh, okay. It's not bad. I'm not a huge fan of like dairy and fruit. But it is not terrible. I don't mind it. I'd drink it again. It kind of works. It's extremely sweet. But in a good way. I know I've said this before, like with other beverages or ever other whatever, but this kind of tastes like strawberry pets. Doesn't it? It does. And if you know anything about me, you know I like my Pez. And the, like, 20-pound thing he's gotten twice. <clears throat> Not twice. You got one. And then I gave most of it to you. 
You gave less than less than half of it to me. Because you couldn't eat the cherries. So I took your cherries. That's true. And a bunch of the grapes. And I took a bunch of the grapes. But other than that, you consumed most of the rest. And it wasn't 20 pounds, it was 5 pounds. But yes, 5 pounds of Pez. I, I made it last well over a month. If, so. I, if I remember correctly, there was another cream version of Dr. Pepper. I don't know. I'm just saying from memory, I'm pretty sure there was. I actually kind of like this. It's growing on me. Uh, see, th what's really funny is everybody who I've talked to about this said exactly what you said. You're going to be drinking. They said you're going to drink it. Mm. And the more you drink it. Maybe there's like drugs in it. It's possible. It worked back in the 1800s. Mm. Put the cocaine back in Coca-Cola. kind of just works. I like it. And if I remember correctly, I because I think it was before the channel, the other cream version of this mm -hmm. was also really good. I can't remember what it was, though. I think it might have been just Dr. Pepper and cream. I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's... I'm wondering if it's literally because Dr. Pepper suits it well to the like strawberries and cream or orange. The 23 flavors blends well. Plus strawberries. <clears throat> and cream. It's good. It reminds me of something and I can't quite put my finger on it because I don't know. But I, I would like this in pants. Uh, I have said this, I will say this forever. Cans are better. Cans are better than bottles. Glass is better than aluminum. And these size bottles are better than two liters. Correct. So... <clears throat> oh, there, if I'm holding it wrong, I don't have the label out. Uh, there is a hierarchy to this thing. So... Yeah. I can now, only... do they make this in bottle or cans, you know? <clears throat> I believe they do, but it's very hard to get a hold of. Okay. Uh, I will keep an eye out for it because I'm going to be traveling around in the near future. Mm -hmm. uh, business purposes. Tom's uh, going on a business trip. Business, 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 business. I, I kind of am. Business, though. business, business. Business, 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 business. Uh... And on my travels, I'm going to keep, because I truly believe with how much this is growing on me, that the can version is going to be very good. Yeah, you're going to have to look out for um, other various things while you're out, too, for the channel. Because I, I will say, my only complaint... Your only complaint. There, it, it is very sweet. I see, it's for me. It's a good sweet. It, it's a good sweet. It's not too much. I mean, well, it's it's very, very, very sweet. But it's, it's it's like right uh, at that level uh, of tolerable sweetness for me. Yeah, I get and that. And that's why I think mm. cans would be better, because I think twelve ounces is the right amount to drink this in. I, yeah. I'm not saying I'm not going to finish this. And then, I, I hate to say it again. <clears throat> oh, are we going to say the thing? Well, we might. We might. I might. Um, I think this would be good really fucking cold. Not, uh, necess not necessarily on a hot day. But really fucking cold. But I think it would be good and better really cold. I. It I, has been sitting in a car with the heat on for like 45 minutes because somebody ran into somebody An and old friend couldn't stop yapping so happens i i think it would also be good on a hot day i see i think the other the other things would be better on a hot day but this doesn't exactly have like a lemonade factor no you're right lemonade is really but it would good. still be better cold straight up <clears throat> yeah 
yeah, like super, super cold. No, you're right. It doesn't really have that it'd be better in the dead heat of summer. Yeah. Which will be our first t-shirt if we ever get big enough. This would taste really good in the summer. <laughs> really good on a hot day. So TM. <laughs> Trademark. But no, that's I like it. It's uh I definitely drink it again. I I would. Uh, I would would consume again. Um obviously I don't have my uh my laptop with me so I'm again gonna, sorry editing case. I'm gonna give this a seven point five. A seven point five? I think it's really solid. Okay. Uh it is it is above average. Okay. Uh, and I would drink this maybe not on a daily basis, mm -hmm. but like, I I don't think I could say no to if it if it was like, mm -hmm. just given to me. I'm gonna go a little bit higher, and you actually person who gave this to us, um, remember the conversation I had with you about a certain someone, and their being inconsistent with rating. I know what you're thinking. Um, I'm going to give this an 8. Really? Yes. I like it that much. It grew on me. It wasn't, I wasn't, I was like, meh at first. But I feel that if I got cans or perhaps more bottles of this, put it in the fridge and, you know, actually tried it when it was not sitting in a warm car for 45 minutes that uh i'd like it even more so i'm gonna give it an eight which, and you gave it a, you gave it a seven and a half you said yeah so seven and a half eight that's an average of 7.25 no 7.75 yeah um and that puts it here on our list, my guess is going to be like, because our list is so huge, the the high sevens are like, like 14-ish. So I'm going to say it's within the top 20. That's what I'm going to say. I think you're right. <clears throat> I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to start putting the list in the description and updating it with each video. So, that, I think that's what I'm going to do, because I can just copy-paste it, and I think that's what I'm going to start doing. So, um, Doug's question of the evening. Uh, what's your favorite way to do laundry? Yeah, do you use one of those corrugated washboards like, like they did in the Old West? Use a laundromat, do you, do you, are you one of, like... Are you rich, and do you have your own machines at home well when i went to college there were two types of people doug's laundry story time uh there were two types of people and how they did laundry uh and i feel like a, a factor of what floor you you were on also affected this um there was a laundry room in every dormitory uh and they they had you know chairs like a normal laundromat and you had the people who would go in there do their laundry and stay and like read a book study listen to music you know whatever and then there were those who you know went in there went back to their room and then you know mm -hmm. waited for it to be done I will say I was a little spoiled with that because our school had a really cool system where you had to use your school ID <clears throat> to use the laundromat. Okay. And you could also use it when you started the machine and it would actually send you an email when your wash was done. Oh, that's kind of cool. So it's like if you were one of... And, so I always went back to my room and I would just study or something and then it would just send me an email. I'd go down. That's kind of cool. And it's like you could set it to send right when it was done, two minutes out. And I'd always do it like two or three minutes out 
and then it's like I'd get down there mm -hmm. and it'd be ready. Like it was one of those like that's where technology is cool. Like stuff like that mm -hmm. is really brilliant, especially in like a college setting. Yeah. I will say though, if you are going to college <clears throat> or something else, uh, you're probably not going to have your clothing stolen or anything, depending on what. Call but never leave your detergent in the room because people will use it. Uh, that is something I learned as a freshman. Makes sense. You can you can leave your clothing in there and not really lose anything. But the moment you leave your detergent or fabric softener in there, people will use, they'll steal that. Mm. Uh, so if you are going to college, uh, it's it's stuff that goes in with the clothing that will get stolen. So do not leave that in. Is that in, what detergent is? Yeah. Fuck. I always kept it out. Well, no, they had an area in, like, the, like they... It's like, feel free to leave your stuff here. And then it's like, everybody would just use the communal ones. And it's like, no, I'm sorry. I'm leaving my detergent, my pods in my bed bedroom. I'm not, you know. The forbidden gushers. But uh, that was before the gusher movement. <laughs> so speaking of um, laundry. Yes. Do you think... It's done. Or... I set a timer on my phone. Wow, that's thinking with your noodle. Five minutes and 40 seconds. All right. So, we haven't really played Apex much since the last one. Hey, this season's <coughs> better than the last season. I really, really want to finish my battle pass, but I'm not sure I'll no, be I... able to. Well, if... I think we will finish the ba the battle pass. It's just I think right now the biggest issue with Apex and they've been trying to fix this and I feel like it's starting to go in a better direction. Uh but just matchmaking in general. Yeah. It's so goddamn all over the place. I will say the last several matches that we've done, we we seem to have, the ones where we weren't hot dropping and, you know, almost intentionally dying to just get our plays as this person that we don't really care for <clears throat> out of the way. Um, I've gotten more, I would say on average, more damage and kills or downs than it, it is more Usual. consistent in that aspect. Uh, the problem is they haven't solved the Terminator problem because it's like... Yeah, we, you'll we, get one person that's like a, a crazy, crazy movement god in in the lobby of, you know, plebs like us. We and I forget at what point, <coughs> we see, but I'm sure you remember. I think we landed at like... Is either like countdown or something like one of the places with the bridges mm -hmm. and we fought off like two or three teams mm -hmm. and it was like a sustained like 10 minute thing yeah and you know it was not a stomp on any one side like everybody was fighting each other people were healing people were and then this one team this rolled one through from like across from the map else. And, and fucking and, deleted everybody. And it, it was like... Like... <laughs> where it was, fun level, because everybody was... Right. Same skill. And then... But then to have somebody literally come through and... Yeah. Like, if everybody was the skill that we were fighting with... Yeah. Throughout the match, like, it'd be fine, because... Even if I got killed, I wouldn't feel upset because it's like, I had like 600 damage and two kills. And it, was it was like a bunch of ants fighting over a Dorito, right? And, and then, then the person, the human a with human a magnifying comes and glass. Just, no, not even that. A human just comes and stomps the Dorito and with like six ants on it going crazy. Just and <laughs> that, that I think is the problem. So it's like they've done a better job of matching people. But they haven't solved the problem of, uh, I think... The, the one crazy fuck-off, like... Person that. in the mat. That yeah. and smurfing. Smurfing is still an issue. 
Yeah. I, I don't care what your stance is what, on What I've found that a lot of people are doing is they're doing it through, um, like, uh, console. Yeah, PC players. and console. And... We'll, we'll get, uh, like, the champion squad will be uh, someone on PC and someone on console. And they're, like, level four. And the person on PC is always, like, yeah, like, level, level 200. And no, no, the... no, it's the other way around. Oh, the yeah. person Because PC accounts are free. That's right. <laughs> But you need like a, a PlayStation name, or you need like an Xbox. Well, then again, an Xbox Live yeah, you I can play for free, free on Xbox. Regardless, yeah. but I but I thought you needed point Xbox Live is, Gold. Smurfing is still an issue, <coughs> uh, and the fact that you can be in a very equally skilled lobby, but then have one person yeah, that's, just that rolling. one person that goes and steamrolls like, everybody. That's, that's not fun. Yeah. It's like, if I die to somebody after having a five-minute shootout, mm -hmm. and it's like, it was this close, Yeah, that's okay. But it's like what that match we played on Broken Moon the other day. We had that, like, three-minute fight inside mm -hmm. a building mm -hmm. with two teams with four, to, four teams to go, mm -hmm. and we fought off the two teams, but then... That last team was nothing but movement tech and mm -hmm. jumping around us like crazy. Yeah. It, it's like, that's not fun. No. It's fun when teams And then are... people like me, people like him who are on console, and people like me who play with a controller, and then you go and you go, oh, aim assist, aim assist. It's like, then if, if aim assist is so great and amazing and, and aim bot, then why do I suck? I'm playing on controller with aim assist. Honestly. I Why think, am I terrible? I, I should think, be a fucking god. I then. think the conversation is overblown. And I think some of the people, especially in the Apex community, uh, have never played Overwatch because... Yeah, that, that, the aim assist on that is way over. So I had to turn strong. it off. He turned it off. Yeah. And I turned it down to like fifty percent. You turned it, yeah. You turned it down like like it a pulls good you so strongly. Oh, who is it? Uh, you can you can like be shooting at somebody, somebody, and your thing will go whoop. Yeah, someone behind them will move, and it'll lock onto that. And, and it, it's them. like it. And it you does, don't even touch anything. It does more damage than it's worth. So it's like you want to talk aim assist. It's in Overwatch. Uh, <sighs> Apex, not even close. No, it's it's not. Uh, it's it's different, but uh, no, that's my little bit rant. I'm gonna go get our clothing and get ready to be up. Now, at is like it in? Is it in the dryer? dryer. Okay. Uh, I don't know if it's officially done. Yeah, neither do I. I did it low mode because I didn't want things to shrink bad. Yeah. So uh, I need to see if it needs another six minutes, but we'll uh, find out. If not, uh, see you next time. And uh, yeah, blah. 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 This is the second time in a couple of videos that Doug's left the car. Hello. Uh.